A New Mexico State University student and self-proclaimed nice guy uh, has written and posted a letter to all ladies uh, that he posted on dorm bulletin board, which prompted a rebuttal letter as well as some very creeped out Twitter messages. Now, the uh, letter that he wrote to all ladies says, okay, ladies, I get it. You don't want a pleasant evening chat. You don't want a gentleman to walk you to your car. You don't want a friendly dude to help you carry your groceries or hold open the door or crush the life out of other men that would do you harm. Fine. Whoa. Fear. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> that escalated very quickly. <laughs> Fine. Fear the good guys. I guess we'll just have to suffer through watching you get broken over and over by the scum you think you love. But I want you to know it's not easy and it hurts to see you fall. Give the good guys a chance to help you be less afraid of the world. So he posted this on the dorm bulletin board uh, with black duct tape, which I'll get to later. Uh -huh. uh, now, a girl posted, uh, her name is Megan, she's 22 posted a rebuttal letter, and I'm just going to read you a few excerpts from that. She said, if you want to play the good guy, you need to rethink your intentions. If you're only doing it for gratification, then you aren't being the good guy. Did Batman give up on Gotham because people weren't thanking him for saving the city? If you want us to be less afraid of the world, then change the world, don't change us. Now, as I mentioned uh, before, people also took to Twitter. Uh, one girl said, dear creepy entitled men, posting a public flyer about how you're nice probably means you're not. Uh, and lastly, terrifying, couldn't be less creepy even if it was written on human skin. So <laughs> I personally have a lot of feelings about this, but I'd like to give you guys the floor first. The best I, I've got mixed feelings, yeah. so I can't wait to hear from you guys. Go the best reaction was Edwin's there. When you're reading through like the step by step, and then when he said the part, it was like, I can imagine like a Casanova being, I'll walk you to your car, I'll open that door, I'll crush that guy <laughs> if he says anything to you. Like, yeah. he just went from zero to 100 way too quick for me. But nonetheless, <laughs> the thing about this is, right, it, it reminds me of like a, a kid, right, who feels obliged to get something because he's doing something which is not for the, the real reasons in the first place. So he's like, he's playing by the rules so he should get his rewards. Like he's, he's doing these things that he has been taught is to be a nice guy. So I should get my reward at the end, which is for me to eventually get the girl. He's probably the same guy in a bar who will go up to a million girls and try to get with them and then at the end they'll be like, ah, oh, they were all sluts anyway. I didn't, I, I didn't really want them. That's the exact same <laughs> ding, guy. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree with you. Okay, first I'm interested of all, for the mixed feelings. every once in a while we reference Edwin, uh, and people don't see him on camera, so they probably think we have an invisible friend. <laughs> right? Now, Edwin's our stage yes. manager. Okay, so uh, and so now on, on, on to this note. Here's why I say I have mixed feelings. Okay. So number one, against this guy, okay, uh, look dude, you want to get laid too. Your intentions are not any better than the scum that you're writing about. Right. They want to get laid, you want to get laid, you just have different strategies, okay. So don't get too bitter about it, all right? Number two, uh, if you're trying to make the case that you're a nice guy, don't write a, like a super threatening letter like, <laughs> oh, the scum that you're sleeping with, oh, crush their soul. Uh, but date a nice guy like me. That, that letter, I'm with you, Hannah, read super scary, Yeah. right? And you mentioned the duct the tape. The duct tape just <laughs> adds a whole other creepy layer. <laughs> <laughs> I will wrap them in this duct tape and they'll see what nice is all about. Can you just imagine him like writing it like late night in his dorm room? Just oh, I know. Yeah. Ferocious. Okay, now having said that, um, I get the frustration behind it, okay? Because, now this will be interesting, we'll see if we disagree or not. Um, do women like bad guys more? Now that is an enormously broad statement. The answer is yes, okay? Now, uh, what it is is they actually like, I, I like how I'm speaking as if there's no women on this set. Like, I, let me tell you what women like, okay. Take okay. it away, Jake. Okay. Uh, they like confidence, but, but the bad guy often has a lot of confidence, earned or unearned, deserved or not deserved, and the guy who's shy, okay, and that's not necessarily mean that you're nicer, but you're shyer and you feel nicer, feels so pissed, and, and, and yes, since that guy has more opportunity, sometimes he'll have, you know, relationship, and then move on, and then the girl will be hurt, and then she's like, "Why can't I find a nice guy?" And the guy in the corner who's shy is going, hey, "Over here, right here, I'll crush him." <laughs> right. Well, I won't crush him, but I mean, I'm right here. Right? So the guy who's shy, I, I, I feel his pain, right? Yeah. And so, and and it's not like there aren't, you know, guys who are jerks to women, and you tell me they don't. There, there's some women don't love that. 
I, I'm saying, okay, so so I'm sure there are some women who are attracted to uh, the the bad boy, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to uh, so I want to comment on your comment, and then I want to get to my comments about this letter. So the first thing is, is I think there is this notion where you know nice guys finish last. And if you watch some think tank videos, uh, we have some studies that prove that's not biologically true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, think tank that. <laughs> <laughs> so now I want to get into this letter because I think this letter, uh, at first you're reading it and you're like, okay, so I kind of get where he's coming from. You know, maybe nice guys finish last and that whole notion. But no, this letter is extremely offensive and it's extremely demeaning. It undermines women's agency. It undermines women's ability to uh, defend themselves. And also, just because women don't want you doesn't mean they don't want a pleasant evening, a gentleman to walk them to their car, help them carry their groceries. They're, maybe they're just not into you. But that doesn't mean they don't want a nice person. And I'm, that doesn't say anything about uh, uh, like society at large, maybe you're just not getting the girl at that time. And that's okay, and you keep doing the nice things that you're doing because you will find the right girl, but maybe you haven't found her yet, and that's okay. But it doesn't give you a right to make this statement about all women and saying, you don't know what you actually want, you're gonna fall on your face, and you're gonna keep being afraid of the girl because you don't want me. So I really want to clarify some things that I think we get wrong as a society. So first of all, of course there are many different kinds of women. So uh, my wife's best friend loves when a guy teases her, right? Mm. Uh, my wife hates that. Yeah. So if you're going to be a jerk to her mm. and tease her, she got no interest. She's going to drop you in a second, <laughs> right? So in fact, I tease her too much. She's like, "It's joke is not funny if it's about me. A joke is funny when it's about you." <laughs> So, so, so women are different. Women yeah. are different. Of course, men are different. Women are different. And like I said, I think we're uh, mistaking shy for nice, which is not necessarily the case. Yeah. And we're mistaking outgoing for jerk, which is not necessarily the case either. But I think there is an underlying here that uh, thing phenomenon here that I think is true for not women but for all humanity, which is if something is readily available, a lot of us go, eh, I can get that anytime. If something seems like it's not readily available, that that could that's fleeting. That can go go away. Come, come back, come back. Yes, I said yes. I mean yes, right? And so that's the jerk, non-jerk phenomenon you're thinking of. But it isn't about being a jerk. It's a matter of does the guy look confident, and feel confident enough that you like? Oh well, if I don't get him, somebody else is going to. And the same thing applies for women and men in, when yeah. you reverse it, right? Yeah. I I mean I, I get exactly what you're saying as well. And I think when you I think it's a good distinction to make between shy and someone who. Is trying to be nice, but not for necessarily the right reasons, right? So this guy, an example, looking at this case, he by a nice guy terms, he means someone who's not intentionally being a dick yeah. to try and get what he's entitled yeah. to. That's what I mean. And trust mm -hmm. me, I've been on both sides of it. I've tried to be the nice guy and the shy guy, and then sometimes I'm like, I, I jaywalked, but they never caught me. I'm a bad boy. Come, this is <laughs> come get me. This wow, is that is extraordinarily dorky. I tried to go in between it. You outdorked me on that one. <laughs> but here's the thing: if you're naturally a nice guy, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm not going to do this for you anymore. If you're naturally a nice guy, you're just going to do these things out of the goodness of your heart. Nah, nah. See, you're now you're being uh, t like too grand and and wishing that the the world was more ideal. Look. Uh, so, and, but but you're right about one I thing. I hold doors open for people, and no. I help like I oh, pick I things know, up yeah. when things fall. I'm not trying mean. to get in their pants when I do it. Yeah, I know, you but know that's because I mean? you're not a guy. No, guys, <laughs> I have this conversation so much with my girl as well. It's like it, there's always an ulterior motive to guys. That's yes. just the, that's just the reality. I'm afraid. Like, yes, he may seem genuine when he's opened the door, but even if he's with another girl, his mind is always working in that way. And it's if. Sometimes there might be different. There might be different examples where it's a different case, but to me, that's just the way guys are kind of taught to think. Now, nonetheless, I'm not saying that every guy who who doesn't think this way is a jerk. Everyone thinks that you need to be the bad boy to get to a girl. But when it comes to chivalry and and men that like to perform, that they're always thinking about that. I, I in my point of view, I think. Yeah, that. yeah. So, but that partly proves Hannah's point, though. But first, let me defend guys even more. So, look. Hannah, it's hard for women to understand how hard it is for shy guys. Okay, and like like Francis, uh, I I've been there, right? So you're thinking, oh, you're a talk show host. I know you, Jenk. You rant and rave. You're the least shy guy in America. That's not true. With when, especially when I was younger, with with girls, I was the guy sitting in the, in the corner of the frat party, going, "Golly gee, why don't they like nice guys like me?" And I was, I was a nice guy, right? But it was mainly because I was shy that I wasn't getting the girls. And for th that person, 
when they see the guy walk in and go, oh, yeah, I fucked her, <laughs> then I did her girlfriend. And you're like, what the fuck? Why are you going with that guy? Mm -hmm. It's so frustrating. You got to understand that no, frustration. No, 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 I totally understand this. And I, I'm not sort of getting on Guy's case at all for this. And and in my personal life, I've always dated the really shy, really nice guy. And that's, so I have nothing against nice guys. You know, what like I have girl? against <laughs> is people who are nice and then feel entitled to something because they've yeah, been I, nice. Yeah, that's yeah, my but, issue so with So that's this. the part that I really agree with Hannah on. Yeah. Nice guys, I know, again, I've been there. You're just using that as a strategy and it's not the right strategy. Because you feel like, well, if I, I'm nice, why don't you have sex with me? Oh, so you wanted the sex. You weren't nice to be nice, you were nice as a strategy to get laid yeah. and it turned out to be the wrong strategy. Again, I've been there, brother, okay? Now that doesn't mean you should be a jerk and like go spit in people's faces. <laughs> What it does mean is understand what's actually working, the root cause of what gets uh, women, men, whatever it is. But you know, it's a little bit, yes, the sexes are different. So it especially for guys, yes. especially for guys, is confidence, mm -hmm. right? Oh, no doubt. Yeah, and, and that confidence you mainly get, and this is a way oversimplification, but by the ability to walk away. So, okay, you want me? Great. You don't want me? Don't care at all, right? And so you don't have to be mean to people to have that kind of confidence.